Hi there, welcome back to another video. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica over on Poshmark where I'm a full-time seller. And today I have a um, store versus outlet um, thrift haul for you. So if you are interested at all in thrifting, in selling clothing online and making money online, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, give this video a thumbs up because that really helps me know what type of content that I should be making here on YouTube. So, I know this is not a new concept. I've done this actually before. Um, Courtney Common Tags is the first, I think, reseller that I um, saw doing like a, a regular thrift store versus like outlet bins um, haul. And today I'm doing it because um, uh, both hauls that I had were kind of small and I didn't want to make two separate videos. I just wanted to combine it and just do one and get it over with. Um, roughly, I spent about an hour to a little over an hour in each store. Um, and I will be starting with the Savers. So Savers was having a 50% off sale. It was like a friends and family sale. Um, I wasn't going to go, but funny enough, my husband, who works in an office, mind you, um, wanted Nerf guns. Yes, Nerf guns. Um, because they've been having some sort of nerf wars in the office. Needless to say, I think they're having way too much fun. But he wanted to find some nerf guns and so I was like, hey, they're having a 50% off sale. Do you want to go? So he found a lot of nerf guns. Um, yeah, he had a great time. And uh, he actually found a couple things, I think, that are in this haul as well. And uh, so we didn't spend very much time in, in savers because I knew he was getting a little antsy. Um, and yeah, so we'll just get started. Uh, and I think this first pair of shoes, I have definitely sold similar pairs before. They're the brand Halogen. They're just a really great loafer, um, kind of a little bit of a platform sole, uh, leather upper, and they kind of have like a snake skinny, um, like detail there at the top, which they're just so cute. They're a size seven and a half. Um, this next pair is also kind of like a snake skin. They're kind of an ivory white there by Dulce Vita. Um, they're size seven and I hate to admit that I tried these on and they fit like a dream. So I have never found a pair of heels like this that I've um, liked. So I'm more of like a chunky heel kind of gal, but this pair was super comfortable. So I'm gonna keep them for a little bit and uh, hopefully wear them this winter since I live in a colder place and like to keep my toes covered. Um, I was super excited about this, and even my husband was like, wow, I can't believe you found that. So, um, this is a Burton jacket. It's the dry ride. It's kind of a, like, shepherd check, um, jacket, and it does have a little bit of wear, but overall, it's in really good condition. Um, I guess I was going to say at the beginning, but at the Savers thrift store, I spent on everything from Savers $91. Uh, so that was what I walked out with um, for my bag of goodies um, from Savers. Um, this is a like 90s style Ralph Lauren um, American flag um, sweater. So yeah, it's just really fun. I've sold a few of these in similar styles um, last winter. So I was excited to find this. And it's a size large, kind of a stretchier knit. A lot of vintage pieces, so if you've been watching for a while, you know that I enjoy selling vintage and that I often pick it up. Um, I like selling it, but I also just like wearing it as well. So yeah, this is like a grandma sweater, um, kind of a rose knit design. I really like this one. Um, and this didn't have a size, but it... No, there's no size. But I think it fits, it can fit a variety of sizes, like small to large probably. Um, this is a really fun vintage find. So I love a good chunky knit sweater. This is definitely fits in that category. So it's a little bit of a plaid. It's like really kind of dark, darker colors, a darker purple and blue and kind of like a teal blue in there almost. But it's open front. It's got side pockets and it's just super cozy. Uh, let's see. It's acrylic. It's 100% acrylic and it's not like itchy. So it's nice. A very light wear overall. Another like grandma, I'm gonna call this one a grandpa sweater. It seems more grandpa-y. 
but just kind of like a uh, geometric print, striped geometric print. This one's a size large, yeah, just kind of a boxier vintage sweater. Love picking those up. They're definitely seeming to get a lot of interest this season. This is like a shimmery metallic turtleneck, vintage, like 90s style. Um, yeah, it's just a very stretchy ribbed knit. And it's kind of like a coppery gold shimmer metallic weave. So yeah, that's nice. Uh, this was a fun find. I haven't found like a whole lot of comps for it. And uh, it's been a, I'm not going to say it right at all. But it is, the quality just felt really, really nice. Um, and so it is a merino wool, viscose, nylon, and cashmere blend. I don't know if you can see the tag, but it feels really nice. It's an open front cardigan, um, gray. And then the front of it, it kind of reminds me, I guess, maybe a little bit of like a robe style. But the front kind of lays open like this, and it has the different colors in it. And so it's just really pretty. And then there's front pockets as well. So great condition, super cozy. I did have a few fails and it's, I always feel, well, just not very bright when I uh, make these type of fails because I know what items always trip me up and I still end up purchasing some. So this is Staring at the Stars um, and I had similarly sold a free people top. So earlier, like last month, it was a very, I had sold a very similar free people top this with this kind of color, um, kind of lacy bell sleeve, more of a shorter cropped length. Um, so I picked this up. So this is urban outfitters. Um, this staring at the stars is urban outfitters. Now I know that this type of material is easily snagged and easily as holes. And I somehow missed like all the snags and all the holes. So there's definitely like a snag here. There's like a snag here <laughs> and like another one in the front. So this was definitely a fail. Um, I've considered like, I know I can actually stitch up a couple of these um, and maybe just keep it for myself because it fits and it's cute. But otherwise, uh, yeah, this was not my best purchase ever. But on the flip side, <laughs> this is really gorgeous. This is Free People. Um, it's size large. And I think it's called the Honey Grove, I think is the style name. But it's just this gorgeous, like, checkered um, blouse, kind of peasant style neckline, and just flowy. And, oh, it's just so cute. So, yes, I was definitely excited about this one. And another grandpa style sweater. And this, again, is just kind of a, like, plaid, um, blue, black plaid, um, oversized, boxy. Again, no size, kind of fits like, it could fit, again, a small to like large. This is probably one of my favorite pieces as well from this haul, um, just because of the color. So it's by the brand ASOS. It's a size 12, but the green, this color green is my absolute favorite. It's kind of like the jewel tones. And then the sleeves are just really fantastic. I love a good wide sleeve. Uh, so yeah, that's a great, fun piece in really good condition. It doesn't even look too good worn. Another vintage, this is a vintage like Henley, I think is what they're called. But I rarely find these, to be quite honest. Like I don't really come across this style very often. Oh, I'm trying to get the color right. So this is just, it's kind of like a neon yellowish color. And yeah. I don't know. I like it. And I think that was a size large. Yes, it was. This, now, I was a little shocked. And um, it was giving me serious FOMO. Like, I didn't want to leave the store after I found this. So this is Christian Dior. Um, and it looks to be like a more modern piece. It's kind of that mauve pink. And it's it says it's uh, US 4, but it's fits like an extra small small it's kind of a cropped open front cardigan um it's super cute and it has this kind of like detail here in on both sides of the sleeve um it's just very subtle 
and uh yeah so after i found this like i like had to go down a few more aisles and that's when i found like the free people top just because again i was like oh i just don't want to leave the store uh i also found this within the same like time frame eileen fisher um it's just a really basic eileen fisher it's like a marled um knit so it's like black and maroon um just so yeah a really basic piece super cozy um, and it's merino wool, so it's a very nice material. Yeah. And I am pretty happy with this. So I recently got a lot of BB Dakota pieces in my um, b and trading box. So I'll link that video up above. Um, but in that box, I had gotten a few BB Dakota pieces, and I've sold BB Dakota in the past, but um, I don't come across it that often, so I was excited to find this. This is just a faux leather, open front, um, like, moto jacket, and it's a size small. It's in really fantastic condition, so that was a fun piece to just pick up out in the wild. This, I think, I'm also keeping for myself because it does have a stain, which I think I can get out. But, uh, yeah, it's this uh, grandma cardigan, and it's got this great fringe and uh, this flower detail, and it's just so, so cute and cozy. Um, it's got a little bit of wear, and like I said, there's a stain, which I had spot treated um, right kind of in here. I had spot treated it, and it kind of faintly came out, so I think um, if I gave it a good soak, it would really come out, but I did try it on, and I liked it, so... I'm gonna keep it for now more than likely I'll sell it in the future and then my husband had found this piece um, he had gone through the men's sweaters for me and found this men's Patagonia now it is a zip up and it does have some wear um, it was really really pilly um, and I did sweater shave it once but I think my blade is going bad so to be honest I I need to replace my my blade on that and give this another um, shave because it still has some pilling. It's definitely better than it was. I just think I could make it look a lot better and get a little bit more for it. This style of Patagonia isn't very, it isn't as desirable, um, but I still think I can get a decent amount for it. They did have it marked down pretty low, I think just because it was so pilly and uh, yeah, I still need to do some more work to it. It's an extra large. Okay, so that was everything I got from the Savers 50% off sale. I did spend $91 on all of that stuff. And now we're going to move on to the um, outlet haul. So this was actually a really small uh, Savers outlet. No, not a Savers outlet. Salvation Army outlet. Um, and they don't rotate their bins very much. They don't have a lot of bins to begin with, and I really only go there when I'm in that part of town um, for like some sort of meeting or event, and so I maybe go there once a month, but it's probably more like once every other month. Like I don't go there very often. Um, I usually find a few good gems, but I usually don't find very much. So I think I had gotten, I spent $22 on this bag of goodies. A lot of it's shoes, so it's a little bit heavier on the heavier side because of the shoes. Um, but I didn't spend very much, and I didn't find all that much. But I was happy with what I did find. So this is a straw bag. It is this great multicolor stripe. And um, I haven't picked up a lot of straw bags. I, I used to find them, I think, more often or, it, like, in better condition. And I just thought this one was so unique. And it doesn't have any, like, writing on it. Sometimes it'll say, like, Mexico or, like, wherever it was picked up. So I liked that this one was just plain and I like the stripe. I think it'll be great for this spring and summer. And it's just, like, a really great picnic bag. Um, it's got a lot of room in storage on the inside. It's very clean and doesn't have any smells, which is good. Um, along with that, I found, this is just a vintage plaid, uh, men's extra large button down shirt, button up shirt. Um, yeah, it's in good condition and I like the, the plaid's nice, like nice colors. I did list under, under the women's section cause I know sometimes women like to wear like an oversized plaid and so 
Um, I just put that it was like unisex, men's, women's. Um, this is already sold, actually. So this is kind of similar to um, that other Henley, but this one's not collared, but it does have the popover and like the half button. Um, super cute. I love this stripe and it's kind of like a boxy fit. So I need to ship that off after this video. Uh, this is one of my favorite grandma sweaters, uh, just because of the print and it's just super chunky and cozy. Um, it's a size small, there's the vintage label and I love this floral stripe. So that's really a fun, fun grandma sweater. Um, it reminds me, it's definitely like later eighties, probably early nineties. Um, this was a great find from the bins. It's a Kava backpack and it's the like shoulder, one shoulder type backpack. Um, or crossbody backpack, whatever they call it. Um, but it's an overall really good condition. They're very light wear. All the zippers work. It's very clean on the inside. So that was a fun find. Um, got a pair of Levi's, 36, 36, 560. So more of the tapered leg. And I rise. I'm going to move my bag here. Okay. So the rest of it is shoes. Um, there was a definitely a shoe fail in here that I'll get to when I find it. Uh, this is a pair of like vintage, I would say like later 90s um, Croft and Barrow leather booties. I kind of like this like faux lace up design on it. They're in overall really good condition, size 10. I couldn't tell in the store. Um, because I had a hard time finding it like very, very faintly in here. It, but I knew that they were Isaac Mizrahi um, booties, but they're for Target. So it was like very, very faintly like in here said for Target underneath its name. And I was kind of thinking that they would be because they're just like a fabric upper. And I feel like the for Target collection is a little bit cheaper. So they'd be fabric instead of like real suede, but they're still like a nice little booty and don't have very much wear at all. I like the olive green. Uh, this is just a pair of Dr. Scholl's flats, but they're like in mint condition. They don't really look like they've been worn at all. So size eight and a half. And yeah, so there's like the bottom really good condition. I like the white. These would be great for spring, summer, uh, career wear shoe. Um, this is a pair of lucky brand flats. And they're just like a fabric, like cork. Um, but I like the little cheetah print. Super cute. Um, there's the Lucky brand. And they are size. Probably like hidden underneath the toe. Yeah, I don't remember what size they are. Uh, this pair of, they're like an espadrille slide. Uh, they're just by the brand Wanted. But again, really, really good condition. Size 7. I know it's not, not the really the right season for them, but I couldn't leave them behind at the bins. Oh, this pair. <laughs> I couldn't leave it behind, but oh, I might just, I'm going to try to clean them up a little bit more. I tried a little bit of spot treatment and it didn't work. So they're Sorel um, and they're flats, but I had originally found this one and I was like, oh, okay, like fine. I'll invest in finding the other one. So I invested in finding this one. I invested the time and it's like worn so worn it's like stained it's it literally looks like a paint stain and um on this canvas and it it doesn't want to come out so I'm not quite sure if I'm just gonna like scrub up the toes and stuff and then like sell as is is probably what I'll do but I definitely won't get very much for them but um they're definitely a brand that people are searching and looking for is this Sorel? um this is a pair of Tahari they're like a lace-up like spectator heel, uh, super cute. They're like a taupey tan color and yeah, they're just really pretty. So I think that'd be a great career wear heel, um, or event heel this winter. This is a pair of older, like calico, um, loafers. They have a little bit of wear on this toe, like specifically, but I really like this croc embossed. It's a leather um, loafer and overall they're in pretty good condition. So yeah, I 
I mean, other than that really, that wear spot on the toe, they're in really good condition. They're a size eight and a half. So here was my other like big mess up. So um, these are super cute. I was so happy to find both of them. And they really don't have any mu very much wear. They're by Franco Sardo. But, <laughs> so I was having a hard time photographing the size in the one shoe. So I was able to see it more clearly and photograph it in the other. But what I then noticed is that one was a size seven and one was a size seven and a half. And that's just not going to work. So, um, and unfortunately, like they're kind of my size, but it's like, I needed the seven and a half to be on the opposite foot. Cause like, so my right foot is like slightly bigger than my left foot. And so these are like the opposite where the left foot's a little bit, I think it, the left foot's the seven and a half versus the right foot's the seven. So I needed it to be flip flop to be able to wear these myself. So unfortunately, I think I'm just gonna have to redonate them because I don't feel like trying to have to sell them with their their different sizes. So I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself with this pair. And even like the print's a little bit different. Like the the um, cheetah print on this one's slightly smaller than the cheetah print on this one. So uh, I'm just bummed. But I did find this pair, and they're they're not as nice. Um, they're the brand. I'm probably not going to say it right, but there we go. So they're just kind of like a nice career wear heel. Or heel. They're the, the calf hair upper um, and kind of like a penny loafer wedge heel, I guess. And yeah, they have just a little bit more wear um, on the back, like specifically right here, but otherwise good condition. So they're a nice career wear heel, but size seven, just just disappointed in the Franco Sardos. And I think lastly, we have this pair of, um, distracted. We have this pair of suede booties and these are a really, um, great boot. I could tell right away just by the quality of the suede. They're in really good condition and they are J Crew. So when I unzip them, um, they are J Crew and they have just a really nice lining to them. They do feel like they're a little bit older, like style. I can't tell when they were made, but um, they're still just in really nice condition and they're made in Italy. So um, that concludes my haul, my two hauls from the Savers 50% off sale and then the Salvation Army bins. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed seeing what I found. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you next time.